today I received something that I wanted for some time a new microscope I just opened the box then going to see what's inside <laughs> Doesn't say so here. Forty, a hundred, ten, and four. We have ten times and twenty times. Let's start with the white. First use, caution, pick, please pick off the membrane inside the cover. Ten megapixel camera. I guess this should go there. can see something. I have some water that I've been uh, taking from a little river stream that we have outside. Should be something there. This water has been standing here in my room for a couple of weeks so there is stuff growing inside. First try. Light. Control on the side and also 
like an iris on the camera. That's it, I mean. Okay, finally I got the software to work, but um, had some problem with the CD that came with the scope. But I finally found a version online that worked better. I don't know if this software is good or bad, but um, it's really hard to get uh, the nice picture that you can get inside when you look through the scope. This is a faster live view. I could go over to uh, low speed and the quality gets uh, better but uh, then it takes so much time to collect uh, the picture so if stuff moves uh, <laughs> uh, they sometimes they moved out of the way before you can see them and now it's even hard to adjust the focus because uh, it takes so much time before my small moves on the scope uh, to appear on the screen that I'm having problems with this uh, colors don't match what I see if I look through the scope but um, I see I haven't uh, connected my real camera yet and uh, I also bought uh, a dark field condenser that I'm going to test and see the difference um, ah, I don't know the, the other software that came with the scope seemed like it was uh, had a lot of more function than this this seems to be more simple well we see okay dark field condenser is in place and this is how it should look the dark background doesn't shine in your eyes but um, the camera doesn't do justice so it's a little closer going in for a thousand this pipe here is so you can move the camera up and down but to get the same focus here and here on the camera this one should have gone up a little bit more to get the same and that doesn't work so I have to put something here to get the same level Okay, I've been working with this microscope for a couple of days now and um, I start to like it more and more. I had some problems in the beginning getting focus and uh, so on and uh, I don't know if it's me or the scope but I think I'm getting a better picture so this is the setup right now I have uh, put my normal camera on top I think this is a little too big for this rig but uh, ah, it works so I need to get a little more practice on this one and right now I'm trying to take pictures of this little bug there it's probably not going to show but to do that I need an external light and uh, it's just a normal halogen lamp that I'm running from external power supply but um, yeah over, uh, overall it's uh, 
what you could say is it's always nicer to look through through the microscope than uh, using the camera or this uh, the camera that I bought with this it's an Amscope camera what I had to do down here I just put some zip ties down there because um, this couldn't move as far up as I needed to get the same focus here when I was looking here so I had to look what I was going to take a picture of and uh, adjust when I should use the digital camera mm. otherwise I uh, think the everything moves just as it should be and everything is fine and dandy but this just makes me <laughs> want to get a better scope because it's uh, I get lost in this world in the microscope so I really would like to get my hands on a electronic microscope or you call them uh, Ah, an electronic, ele electro. So you could go in really deep. It's too bad that you don't, uh, you don't get uh, the depth of field. It's so narrow that it's hard. But I figured out how to do it. You take s layers and layers, and then you. Stack them all together, and you get a better picture with the depth of field that's much wider or deeper. Okay, but uh, so far uh, this scope gets the thumbs up.